more today. Not quite sure which one's what and what it is, so let's have a look. Well, the old Hornby Commodore Gun hopper that uh, sometimes had the tops on them and was utilised as a grain one as well. Uh, this is the later one, not the old triangle moulding. But that came as part and partial of, yes, more hoppers, more MGRs, more HEAs. So we've got these are mainline ones, I'm guessing, because they've got the old uh, mainline airfix type coupling. One is missing a hook, which I don't think I have any of them type hooks, so I might have to source some for me spares bin. Uh, one ladder missing on that one. I did just pop the bits out there, so uh, it makes it easier for when I want to put a ladder in. That one needs repositioning. Nothing major. A couple of Commonwealth Garden Hornby hoppers. Just to go with the rake I already have. I've got a mix of wheels on that one, so I'll probably have to change them. And the standard ones. And there's this one with, I don't know what that's supposed to be. I don't know whether that's chunks of plastic. Off cuts. It's not carbon. I thought it was active car old carbon. Out of a carbon filter, which is a cheap coal if you want to chop a carbon filter up and use as a, a coal load. And uh, this one is the newer version with the NEM cupping. It's got a continental one on that end, on oh, both ends. Hmm. Don't know what he was pulling that round with, but uh, yeah, so that one will just have to change the couplings. And uh, I mean, they fetch 15 20 pounds on their own, so that weren't too bad. Let's see what's in the next box. So I said I wanted some more and I did find some more, a bit more modern of make, uh, Wolfers Mainline. Should do something here. Uh, don't know where he paid her, that's an old price I would say. I haven't seen much of them in the UK period. Um, but we're long past the days of American wagons being 1750 You're lucky if you can find anything under £20 now. So there was a couple of those. And also in the lot was a CSX box car, which obviously, you know, whether I want it or not, I've got it. Um, Moulding detail doesn't look as good on that as the Wolfers one, although looks like the handrail details are a bit better, but uh, maybe it's just the paint finish isn't very flattering. So we'll get them out in a minute. And a Borax hopper. Trinity covered hopper. So I did pay a bit of a bit of chunk of money for these buggers, but um, it was a bit of a fight. But still cheaper than an equivalent Backman British. VGA or something like that, you know, it would be £25 a pop second hand, which is ridiculous. So you'd be talking £80 to £100 if these were British Backman wagons. Um, and some of these look like they've probably not been used. So let's have a look. Well, that's certainly an exploded parts diagram. They always look good, but I doubt if you phoned them you'd get half of the parts of the spares, would you? Certainly wouldn't over here. So it's certainly a lot higher fidelity model than the ones I normally pick up. We have, it looks like aluminium, or aluminium for the Americans. Yes, that is not plastic. So I presume that's etched or laser walkways. Very nice. And a lot higher fidelity than I normally have. Excuse the shaky camera work, so if it focuses, there'll be various brake and air pistons, pipe work, not much that end other than the brake lever or release lever mechanism. 
nice fine wire handrails and as I said I don't think it's ever been used there is no sign of track marks from the rail on the wheels so that is pretty much try and keep it carefully very nice model please with it because it did cost me a chunk of money but um, I don't think this camera will do macro shots but uh, all of the writing on the side is legible a bit wonky there but uh, yeah you can well if I had a microscope <laughs> my little jeweler's loop I'd be able to read all that that is all legible providing that your eyes are capable which mine aren't anymore so I'll pop this one carefully back in its packaging well, again the detail parts are a little bit higher fidelity on this uh, CSX box car we've got again the little mesh fitted parts separate step there the only thing as I picked up before is that door moulding just doesn't look great mainly that side it just doesn't seem to have a lot of definition as if it's uh, looks like they've used enhanced an already cheaper mould rather than retooling the whole bodywork but all the same still quite a nice model the other side is obviously going to be exactly the same a bit sparse underside there isn't really much to see on these type of wagons just your actuating piston and air receiver I guess Again, I don't think it's been used. There's no signs that I can see of any track where, yeah, where if this did, it's done one or two circuits and gone back in the box. So, separately fitted brake wheel. I've got to find one of those for that other wagon I had in the last in the last episode. So that one there, I think the Wolfers one's packaging's a little bit better on these. That's the right way around. Yeah, the same. This one doesn't appear to be used. Well, negligible sign. I can't see anything on the wheels, which is usually the giveaway. Nice detailing there. Again, for the brake reservoir, pipe work. Uh, I presume the bottom steps are separately fitted. They're usually the most vulnerable thing. I've got plenty of them to make up out of wire. The railing there is all moulded onto the bodywork. Sorry, the light's not very good. Um, the door moulding on this looks a lot better. Yeah, they don't open. The kit ones I had from that previous video do open, although they're a little bit tight. But, uh, yeah, very nice as well. All clean, crisp. Yeah, happy with those. I must have quite a few box cars now. In fact, I have got to the situation where those, those two there and that one are all full of hoppers and box cars, mostly a couple of gondolas. I have bought two brand new Norfolk and Southern gondolas from House of Hobbies if they ever turn up, because they don't seem to be in a great hurry to process their orders. So. Yeah, more. I don't know what else will be coming this week. Stay tuned. Well, it's squished box time. Can't really see there, but um, yeah. Uh, uh, next project, solar. Well, the box was a little bit squashed, but the contents all seem okay. It's the London North Eastern Railway lattice signal posts which uh, if you've watched Tony North Eastern's most recent videos you'll see that was a bit of a challenge as you can see you've got to cut all of that out and glue them all together and I'm glad to see the wires are in it because when the photograph didn't show them um, so yes more signals semaphore type staying on that theme how about some that are already made 
I managed to pick up four of the other ratio signals. These are the LMS ones, but they weren't uncommon around our way, actually. It's been in the Midland region, because we were Midland Great Northern as well. So they turned up on all sorts of the tubular steel type concrete and even sort of old telegraph poles. They're fairly easy to assemble, these ones. But as you can see, these come with a little mechanism. I think this one's a little needs a little bit of tweaking. I don't know whether I can work it one-handed. So you can see. Yeah, I don't know. Extra detail because there should be the lamp, but these operate via a lever. So you could put a spring on there and a servo, so it doesn't over stress it. They do come with a little kit of string and some eyes and then the other part of the kit here is to make up a little lever actuator so that you can basically underneath your board string the cable via the eyes up to the signal and operate it via the little lever. But we're not going to do that are we? No. We're going to use servos. So I picked, I've had these before and they were assembled, but again they want a little bit of tweaking. Um, two of them are still you know, whingy pants in the room. Still sealed in the packs, so hopefully nothing's fell out. And that one, and I got the four for what one costs, which is about 15 quid. So that's okay, and that'll be another night evening job building and painting them up hmm you gonna help I'm guessing that's a no